Welcome back guys. I hope you don't mind. I'm probably gonna speak a little bit quieter today because uh, I'm recording this at like 12 a.m. and it's you know it's just a nice chill time to be doing a video, right? So yeah, the return of Duskblade, eh? Uh, Eclipse got nerfed, we all know that. And uh, with that being said, I thought I, I thought I would try out some of the other mythics again. Uh, I I have pretty much just been exclusively running. Uh, Eclipse lately, but today we have a Duskblade game and it is definitely a fucking juicy one. Let's just say that. All right, so keep this in mind, right? We've got the we have the river watered, and we know the kindred started red, and you can see that she crossed the ward into, into my topside jungle. So what I do here is I uh, I take my red and then my raptors, and immediately after my raptors, I go into the gromp of the enemy team, and this will get me a quick level three, so that I have my leap in case anything uh, kind of crazy happens in the other game. And so, yeah, we know that the Kindred is just going to try cheese me. Pretty much every fucking Kindred does this. And it's honestly the only hard part about the matchup. Just knowing uh, knowing when they're going to cheese you, etc. So, yeah, it's just something you need to be really, really careful of. Because if a Kindred sets you back early game, it can be quite difficult to come back. Uh, but if you manage to get ahead of her and, you know, stop her from cheesing you, then, you know, the matchup is pretty, it's pretty damn simple. Um... But yeah, we've got some vertical jungling going on here. I am running Dark Harvest. Uh, I just love Dark Harvest with Duskblade. It just feels so good. I don't know, man. It's just the perfect synergy, right? Absolute Focus Gathering Storm. High Wall Collection. Sudden Impact. We get a lot of uh, damage runes in this rune page. And we finish it off with Treasure Hunter just to get that extra uh, kind of, you know, money to buy our items with. Because obviously this is a, it's quite an expensive playstyle. Uh, having the dust blade and the dark harvest you got to make sure you're ahead um because if you're not ahead and you're not getting kills you know yeah that's when this build becomes kind of shit <laughs> quite bad yeah uh, let's just say that so thankfully we are boasting a whole like a an all squishy team here right which is why i've opted for this uh, dark harvest dust dust blade build i mean like i wouldn't run this into like three tanks or anything like it's just kind of suicide but yeah, when you have teams like this, you can afford to uh, do this. So after I clear the Kindred's top side, uh, sorry, bot side jungle, I just go back and take Crab and the Krogs, and then we're gonna recall. Now notice here, um, I was actually, I was actually tracking this Kindred perfectly. I assumed that she would be resetting at this point, and I was right because sure enough, she jumps over the wall there. So what she was doing is I, uh, after taking like some of my stuff in my top side jungle. She just resets and buys her items and then she's like pathing down to bot. And that's something I should have called out and pinged, but I didn't. Although she doesn't get anything out of bot. It's just, it's sort of a sacrifice. Sacrificial Amumu, right? Does a good job at saving his ADC. But yeah, I'm just going to run straight top here because it is quite an aggressive lane. GP wants to poke a lot. And uh, Aurelia is actually going in as I'm walking up. So that's really nice. And I just end up picking up a, a kill there quite comfortably. That's my first kill and it's very, very good for me. Uh, we get a treasure hunter stack and an eyeball stack and yeah those stacks are very important and our first stack harvest stack wow this is just so stacks on stacks right so many so many stacks uh and it's very very important we get these so that we can start snowballing but yeah i see syndra very low here looking for another dark harvest stack another kill <laughs> i'm just being super disrespectful i don't know why i'm running through the tower but the syndra is very low i don't get the auto off so i have to end up w flashing and then auto attacking to actually finish her off and yeah it turns out the kindred is there um, but my Amumu is here with the Fizz, and she's gonna, they're gonna pick up the, uh, the Heimerdinger. Kindred's gonna try going the Fizz, but look at this, look at this, guys. They're actually, actually just legends. Um, Lemus on Amumu is an absolute legend. Uh, and Yuck on the Fizz. Juicy, juicy. Pick up the Kindred. <laughs> so, uh, enemy team is not having a good time. But yeah, we do pick up the Serrated Dirk and the Double Longsword. So, we are going pretty comfortably into the, uh, into the Duskblade at this point. Two kills, uh, one assist, three stacks of eyeball. You know, it's just, there's not much else you could ask for with this build. Um, it's a very, very worthy trade off me dying for that Syndra there. Very, very worth it, uh, especially with this setup. If you want, if you're gonna die, like, guys, if you're gonna die, the early game is probably the best time to do it because, um, like, if. If you absolutely have to, going for one for one for ones is like not too bad because you can obviously get the stacks 
on your runes and that'll make you stronger uh but yeah so yeah yeah you'll notice that i think in a lot in a little bit of can't speak english uh in a lot of my games <laughs> sorry in a lot of my games you'll find that i die early game and then like when mid to late game comes around i like almost never die and yeah i mean the early game is just the best time to be aggressive and get those stacks so that you can snowball and sure enough this game like really shows that but yeah there's like four bots so there's nothing i can do there there's quite literally nothing and i'm a bit upset here because my rally is taking my gromp and this is actually really bad right because if i uh if i took my wolves here that would have gotten me level six but since she took the gromp she actually just denies me level six so this is really annoying and it's really frustrating i should have like spam pinged her back but it was like she was already like halfway into it so i would feel bad I mean, like, why would I feel bad, right? I don't know, I'm stupid. <laughs> but it is what it is. Um, the crab is going to get me close to 6, though, thankfully. And I noticed that the GP burns some, so I'm going to walk up here and look for a dive. But turns out it actually goes to Ward, and it's just another free kill for me. EQ auto attack in isolation, pick up a Dark Harvest stack, and our fourth eyeball stack. Very, very juicy. We evolved the Q just for some more uh, DPS. And, yeah, that's basically it. We're going to invade since we saw the Kindred... Uh, in the bot side, we know our buffs are respawning, right? So we're going to be taking this away. And I'm actually expecting the Kindred to come along here. Sure enough, here she is. Hello. And immediately I R right when I see her. I miss my W, whatever. But my damage is so enormous and she's so squishy that we just, you know, end up chasing her down, slowing her and finishing off with some uh, isolated damage very very juicy and with that i immediately go into the herald because now we have jungle prayer right uh there's absolutely zero universe where the kindred can contest this uh yeah pretty much no one on their team can actually walk up to me if they're in isolation so uh this is a very good play by me grabbing the herald and once we get this we are probably gonna try and look for a recall actually my fizz just got a solo kill never mind we got what i said uh, immediately I decide to go into the mid lane and just drop the herald because I see the tower on two platings so this is a perfect time to drop the herald open up the map and uh, at the same time get some gold so that's what's going to happen here bam I actually get all the gold there which is really fucking juicy like can you see the amount of gold I just got there that's absolutely nasty sitting on 2300 gold going to recall straight away and we're going to pick up the dust blade now instead of going into my top side camps uh I also get my double longsword on boots, I'm going into my next lethality item, which will be Yumu's. And instead of going into the top side, which I could very well do, um, I decide that, you know, I'm really, really strong right now. I need to make use of it. So I decide to run up into, like, towards the dragon in hopes of getting it. Unfortunately, the, just, like, my Kaiser dies at the wrong time. So, you know, what's funny is that the right thing to do here, considering that play, is to just go top side and farm. Um, so yeah, I should actually, shouldn't actually be doing too much here because I need to be wary of the CC they have. So yeah, just, yeah, like they're just waiting there, kind of just waiting. Um, and luckily I dodged that Syndra stun before it gets me. And I'm kind of just sitting here, kind of resorting to just farming. We can't exactly walk up and face check unless our Mumu does it first. So yeah. Uh, enemy team is it looks like they're starting the dragon and I just say leave it Because uh, at this point I know what I have to do um, At this point dragon doesn't matter like at this point to look at top lane, right? Like all I need to do is play top and kind of open up top and then I can maybe use Irelia to kind of Snowball the map a little bit more, but yeah I have to just resort to camps here and then I path up top and do what I should have done maybe like two minutes ago which was take my camps. I didn't realize my wolves were actually griefed, so I go and reset those. And bam, I go and take the... Uh, I go and take the blue and gromp. Never mind, I don't take the gromp actually, because my really is getting ganked, so I'm thinking, huh, maybe there's something I can do here. Maybe I can't get there in time, but maybe I can actually sneak in and kill them here once they finish killing Aurelia. I do sneak past the ward in the bush by using my R early. Find the kindred, but I actually guess which... I mean, like, I didn't want to stay on her because I was afraid of getting stunned. And notice, uh, because I'm so careful here, I'm actually full HP. And I ha I don't know why I'm not jumping in here, honestly. They're so weak. I could just one-shot both of them. 
But yeah, I'm just going to play it really safe. Jumping over the wall here. Kindred is still around. She's actually recalling in the bush. She queues into me. No one knows why. And then we just one-shot the GP. I don't know, man. We're so fed. We're so fed that we just do so much damage. And I don't know why I'm being so scared there, but it is what it is. And the Syndra is still walking up for whatever reason. No one knows, man. No respect for me whatsoever. I don't know why anyone is walking up here. These guys are definitely boosted. Why is this master tier game? Who knows? <laughs> I don't know, man. Sometimes I just question the players on this server. Because they make them just the weirdest decisions here. I'm thinking what I need to do here uh, now. And I decide to, because um, I was going to stay there again and zone GP off the tower, but that's not really necessary. So I just recall, and we're going to pick up the second Serrated Dirk, we pick up the Lucid Boots, and then we're also going to uh, walk down into the bot side again in an attempt to try and get the dragon. Um, unfortunately, my Fizz is really low, so we don't have uh, Fizz to work with at this point, but that's fine. Uh, we just need to, like, it's been ages since... Like, this team just, just does not want us to get the uh, dragon. And sure enough, the Kindred is down here as well. So, it's just going to be kind of tricky walking up against the Heimendinger. And, you know, that's all we need to really worry about here. I am doing a sweep here. Kindred walks into the bush, but she has to back off immediately. I just jump, try to get the slow off on the MF, and we just one-shot it. Auto QW, that's what I did there. Uh, and, you know, our damage is just too massive. Enemy team is very squishy, like I said. And so, this Dust Blade build with the Dark Harvest is just so satisfying man oh my god still my favorite build of all time so enemy team tries to collapse on me here and what i do is i actually auto eq fade away w the syndra and that's gonna kill her uh my amum is gonna do some cc uh business there and I actually managed to get out of that unscathed because i managed to avoid the stun and you know just played my life quite well there so yeah i, I thought that was pretty nice i thought that was pretty fancy um, honestly wasn't even intentional, I didn't really expect to kill her there, but she did get into isolation the moment I used my Q, so that was actually really fortunate for me. Uh, Kindred and Heim are going to try going the Fizz, but my Fizz is actually really strong, and he just obliterates the Kindred there. And I'm going to walk up here, uh, still want to be decently careful, it's a 1v2 at that point because Fizz is too low. Um, and I have no R, so we got to be very careful. It's just a good habit to keep in mind, guys. Like, there's no reason for me to waste, like, just throw my lead in exchange for kills. But yeah, I do get excessively greedy here. And I face check for no apparent reason. I get stunned and then I instantly die. That just shows you how unforgiving this build is, right? It's just full damage and you need to make sure you're in the right positions at all times. Otherwise, you get uh, punished like that and then you just die because um, you're very squishy. And, you know, the chain CC is going to mess you up. So, yeah, keep that in mind. That's, like, that's why I'm playing so careful, right, guys? Like, again, like I said, it's not worth, like, getting a few kills and then just dying and then throwing a lead because that time spent dead, you need to be using that time to, like, do other stuff and, like, get the objectives, etc. So, yeah. Anyway, enemy team's finally going to get, uh, gonna get the dragon. So, I'm going to walk up into the top side. I have the Yuma's Ghost Blade now, which is really nice. That's going to up my tempo quite a little bit. And my damage is through the roof at this point. Uh, we do need to keep into account the plated steel caps on the Kindred though. Because uh, those boots will pretty much require me to hit the W. Or get another Q uh, off in my rotation. So that's what plated steel caps do for you guys. Like That's just what you need to keep in mind when someone buys plated steel caps. Usually you need another Q to kill them. Or you need to hit W. And we all know that I can't hit W, so it makes life hard for me. <laughs> anyway, we get the Herald, and um, I'm wondering what to do here. My team is busy partying mid lane, so I know exactly what I'm going to do here. I'm just going to ignore everything and go topside, because there's a very big juicy wave here for me to take, and that's going to grab me level 11. I'm going to pick up the level 11 and just shove this wave. We do have the Herald, right? So keep in mind, we can use this to take the tower if we need to. Evolve the wings. Um, the wings is just because I'm so damn fed. Normally, I would probably evolve R, but <clears throat> um, I mean, like QE, Duskblade, Dark Harvest. It's, it's just the iconic solo carry playstyle, man. Like, solo carry 1v9, like, this is how you play it. It's just so juicy having that E evolve available. Um, so, I get greedy here. Uh, I mess up. I mess up so badly. This is such a mistake here. Um, what I should do is just instantly jump on her, but. I got greedy and I didn't use my leap initially 
because I, you know, I was keeping it, I was, you know, I was taking into account summoners and all that, but all I needed to do that was jump on her and full combo her, and she would die there, and then I can just reset out. Like, I don't know why I didn't do that. Um, and that means I just, you know, die for no reason yet again. Uh, in the meantime, my team is popping off, but, you know, just a small mistake. That's pretty much the only mistake I make in this game, I think. Actually, it might be one more, but, yeah, my bad. It's just that I got so greedy, I, I wanted that Herald to do some work, and, you know, it just, that's just not worth it at all. But, at least we get the tower, I guess. I mean, like, I'm not trying to make excuses, but that is what it is. Um, oh, right, yeah, someone, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I say it is what it is too much. Uh, someone in my last video, I think they were like, Bro, stop saying it is what it is. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Look, it is what it is, okay? <laughs> it's just a habit, man. You know, all right, unlucky. I'll just say unlucky, right? Is that better? Okay. <laughs> I don't know. All right. Oh my gosh, I almost said it again. Okay. Anyway, um, I decide to go for a third serrated duck here, right? I'm not going to go into the edge. Sorry, I'm not going into Cerildas. Mainly just because the enemy team is so squishy, so I can afford to go triple lethality. Uh, I can just go straight edge of night next, and that will give me some more safety when jumping in, etc. So, yeah. Uh, enemy team is not building armor just yet, but, you know, that's that's why we're going to save the uh, Cerildas for fourth item instead of third. Because uh, having more lethality earlier, while they're not building armor, is just going to be more worth it. Uh, as it stands right now, but yeah, <clears throat> um, I'm walking into here. I am actually not seen here, so I'm, you know, just kind of looking for a pick, to see if enemy, uh, enemy teams in the jungle, but they're not. So I decide to like walk up here and try and shove the wave, just apply a bit of pressure. Um, Fizz is pinging me back. I'm not really sure if it's because he wants the wave or if he's like just being, you know, you know, just looking out for me, but. Uh, I spot the GP here in the bush. I could instantly jump on him here actually, but yeah, I jump on him once I realize no one's around him. He's very out of position, and a move is going to land a very nice hook. Uh, I'm going to just WEQ auto attack the Syndra, which is going to completely annihilate her, and I actually jumped the wrong way. I should just instantly jump out there, uh, jump backwards towards my team, but it turns out uh, MF is an assassin. So she's gonna just one shot me out of the blue and at this point I'm like, okay, yeah, all right, I gotcha. I just gotta be a little more careful and that'll be it. <laughs> so we're back, hello. I'm still continuing to build into the edge of night, but yeah, at this point, like after that, I was like, okay, yeah, misfortune is a bit broken. Collector's a little, f a little too broken. Actually, I don't think she had collector there, but uh, yeah, it's just, un oh, it's not what it is. It's just unlucky, right? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so a fight is breaking out in the bot lane. Kindred's gonna pop an ulti. This is big news for me. Uh, they're very, very low. Watch this. We're just gonna uh, queue the Kindred. Sorry, queue the Syndra really quick. And then double jump back towards the Hyma and pick up the Hyma. Do a little nice EQ on the blue. I'm really feeling myself here in this game. You can tell. You can tell, right? It's just It just hits different, right? This QE Duskblade build. It just hits different. I don't know what to tell you, man. Uh, enemy team is so squishy that I, it's just a playground for me and my team and I'm able to easily just uh, do my job there in that fight and clean up and yeah do all that stuff so that's cool uh, we are level 13 so I'm pretty enormous and we did ping the Baron me and Fizz ping the Baron uh, but my bot lane got a little too greedy and they walk up and they die uh, you know, we settle for the GP here, so we're going to jump on the GP. I actually use my jump to get closer so I don't have it up. Just got to be a little bit patient here. Go in for one ISO Q, and then uh, my leap's up, so I'm just going to jump on him and pick that up quite nicely. And then uh, I spot a wave here, and I see Fizz isn't actually going for it, so I'm going to go for it myself. Yum yum. We always take waves, guys. Take waves, because they are very, very important. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, yeah, they're very important in order to kind of just... You know maintain your lead i guess lane experience is so broken and it has been for like several seasons so you know the more lane experience you can get as a jungler the better uh, obviously you can still take your camps and stuff but lane experience lane experience is going to be the thing that just propels you forward the most uh in a game it's just so broken man i swear it's so absolutely broken i hate it <laughs> anyway we've got the edge of night and i'm going to build into uh surreal is next uh turns out the the uh, Heimerdinger has Crown. I'm actually trying to W him to get rid of it, but it's going to block with his turret. 
And so now we're just kind of hovering around Baron because we want to go for the Baron next so that we can just kind of open up the base and end the game. And so what I do is I just walk up here because I'm assuming it's not watered and I'm going to try to do a loop round to see if I can grab a pick here. Um, but yeah, so my Aurelia is having some fun. Uh, she's going to go down. But with so many people bottling, we're just going to be like, okay, yeah, whatever. Let's just start the Baron. Because why not? We have three lethality items. Uh, GP drops his ult, so we're going to have to back out of that. Otherwise, we're literally just going to die. And I decide, yeah, okay, whatever. I'm just going to recall. And, you know, have a quick little reset. And that's going to be fine. Not quite enough for the uh, last whisper yet, but that's all good. And now, like, again, we just, we're just going to try again, right? We... We baited out the GP ult, which is good. So really all we need to do now is just try and get picks. I'm going to walk up here quite aggressively and look for something. Just to see if we can grab a pick and try to do Baron, but it's not going to happen. Uh, instead, I'm just going to use the time that I have while everyone's kind of resetting and walking up uh, to grab the red. You know, just take camps, do whatever. And then I'm going to walk up to the Baron here yet again. We see the Syndra splitting bot, I believe. <laughs> no. She's just clearing the wave bot. Uh, we see the Kindred mid. And now we're just trying to set up vision around Baron. Again, we just have to be very careful, right? Because of the CC on the Syndra and the uh, and the Heimendinger. Let's just, we just have to play it careful. Like, no point risking our lives for no reason. We're just going to play it slow. Eventually, our time will come where we'll take the Baron and we'll, you know, we'll get the picks we need to. And it's all about just waiting for that tiny, tiny mistake that the enemy makes and capitalizing off that. So yeah, get the crab, get level 14, we're actually very close to 16, that's very nice. Uh, and MF walks up a little too far, a fight starts, um, he's going to zone use huge, huge Amumu ulti, find the Kindred, get some resets going, and let's, let's just jump everywhere. I try and double jump the Syndra, but the turret is in the way, so my W doesn't connect, and I don't get the reset, so fucking sad. Uh, but yeah, we just ace the enemy team, and uh, at this point, the rest of the game is... Uh, you know, it's just for fun, you know? <laughs> uh, I written them, you know, Aurelia is just pushing the bot lane. And we're all taking the Baron here. And then, yeah, that, that's pretty much it. Like, once the next few fights unfold, the game will be over. And uh, we hit level 15 as well, which is a bit nasty. Pick up the last Whisper, get the core fields, and then we're just gonna, once again, look for the picks. You can tell I'm trying to be super flashy here. But I swear, like, every time I try to be flashy, like, something goes wrong. And... I missed my chance to do the cool montage play, you know, the cool double jump. Ah, it's so sad, man, but, you know, it is what it- Oh, no, I'm sorry. It isn't what it isn't. It's just unlucky, okay? <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyway, I'm gonna be very aggressive here, watch this. I'm gonna R flash over, and actually auto EQ, thinking that would kill her, but it doesn't. Unfortunate. I don't know why it doesn't kill her. I think it should have. Um... But yeah, we just do a little double jump there, so that's cool. That's cool. We have so much damage. Just gonna go for a quick little double jump. Being very careful of that M that MF there, because she can actually kill us. That's kind of hilarious. But yeah, um, I just a bit of a fun double jump there. You know, I wanted to have some fun this game for sure, because uh, they're so squishy. And uh, I believe the reason I didn't get the reset on the Syndra immediately was because my Dark Harvest didn't actually go off. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure my Dark Harvest didn't go off there, so that's a bit, that's a bit crap. Uh, don't get the cool stylish double jump play that I wanted. Uh, we did double jump, but you know, like it's kind of pointless. Uh, but yeah, that, that's it, guys. That's that's pretty much gonna be, um, well, not quite, but the game is ending. We're just, it's just a matter of like pushing into the base and ending. Finally hit 16. Not really gonna matter at this point. This guy's isolated. I'm looking for more montage plays, very like. Come on, man. Heimendinger drops the turret, loses isolation. I still one-shot him anyway. Uh, and I jump out because there's just really nothing else I can do there without dying, I think. Uh, evolve the R. And yeah, that's, that's it. <laughs> that's it. Hello, hello. One more kill. One more kill. Here it is. We stealth in. EQ auto attack. Absolutely one-shot the uh, Miss. Or, no, the Kindred, sorry, and then we fail the double jump on the Misfortune. That just goes to show how long it's been since I've done the juicy montage plays. But yeah, it has been a while, guys. I haven't got a clip in ages. 
<laughs> but yeah, that is my last kill of the game. Um, and now it's just a matter of like walking in to the base and uh, kind of just ending it. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, Duskblade is back. Kind of. I mean, it was never really gone, let's be honest. Let's be honest. It's still the, like, it's still the iconic 1v9, like, super hyper carry uh, item that you buy if you can do it. You know, if you're versing squishies. That's Kha'Zix. It's just so much fun with the Dark Harvest, and I love it to death. By far my favorite playstyle. Hope you guys enjoyed as much as I enjoyed playing this game. And yeah, we'll see you guys next time.